Horse bets today. I gotta hit the beat. Another upsetter here on the program. Race seven to cap off that early pick for kickoff. The late state of play uh, refused to give in. Uh, he went some tough trips, not all that long ago for Amanda Fine and company, but back to his winning ways tonight with Philion and Harry Poulton. Eighty-one thousand in the late pick five. There's like fifty-nine bucks in live money. It's crazy, yeah. Good luck to that person. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So good luck if you are uh, well done first to get this far, and good luck the rest of the way. We'll see what happens over the next three, but again, not a lot of live money remains. As we go to our final pick three of the night, race eight, kicking that off with a group of trotters. Nominers of two or 27.5, lifetime field of seven. Heavily favored is the six. It's time to go home. Uh, who's coming in off of a win, his first Canadian win for the son of Korea team, Brad Maxwell and James McDonald looking to re-team here. That's a 30% driver-trainer combination. Same class. Just the odds are certainly a lot lower. It was six to one last time. Yeah, it was, if you got them last time, you're much happier because now at three to five, it, you still want to back it just because I think uh, he is the winner here. Uh, first time James McDonald goes on and wins, so obviously back in the same level and the connection, as you mentioned, thirty percent. It's hard to look anywhere else where you try to find value underneath, but uh, definitely wish I had him last time at six and a half to one instead of this three to five number we're getting now. I'm going to try and beat him. Um, okay. Yeah. I mean, I've got him second. I'm going to go right. Storm Trotter. I, I am in this spot. Mike Probosi going that direction as well. We see a couple other threes scattered in there. He was three to one in the morning line, five to one right now. Everybody inflated with the six, taking all the money. But, you know, a lightly raced, son of muscle mass that uh, all in all has raced pretty well. And really every start, even that last one, he was just kind of too far out of it. Trotted in 55 and one. The Prince has been, you know, racing fantastic. Lately, I mean, that was a 53-4 and four grassroots win. He shouldn't have to worry about chasing that kind of speed tonight. I think that's going to allow him to be closer in the early stages, too. Uh, I, I think Fillion can come right back here on the program and win. Well, I tell you what, there's no hotter driver right now. He's had three wins last night and a couple tonight as well. So Fillion definitely knows how to get him home right now. And you're right, you know, two back, one, and moved up. So 25% winner in his lifetime. Uh, he might definitely fit well here and get the same trip as before, the number three hole, so there's no mm -hmm. post position issues. Uh, definitely a true contender against uh, the favorite. I didn't use the five Valley Hanover. Uh, a couple others have put that one in there. You've got him rated in the exact. What do you like about him? Well, I just like the fact he's been offering big prices every week and has not been running that bad. A uh, couple fifths and a third, gets a much smaller field here and gets the five hole. I'm just thinking you can get a little bit closer, has shown a nice last quarter, two back there, duplicate of that performance. Uh, providing right now 8-1 to one is a good play, in my opinion, underneath some of the others we've talked about. I see Robert Reed's got Meadowview Lily in for second. I've got her third. She's capable if the Meadowview Lily that we've seen on you know her better occasions shows up. That just hasn't been the case for quite some time. I mean, you've got to go all the way back to a Georgia Downs gold on July 17th when she was second behind HP Mama B. Since then, she's had miscues and maybe just overall tough company, but she's into a manageable spot for her I think the biggest thing that she's got to do is just mind her manners. Stay flat, right? Yeah. I mean, a couple breaks for sure. Uh, three in his last four. So, you know, it's one of the ones where she can definitely pull off and win if uh, Bob McClure can keep her flat. It's just too risky in my opinion, although offering 12 to 1. So if you like value, there's definitely value in Meadowville Lily. As mentioned, everybody inflated at this point because 2 to 5, overwhelming oh. on the 6. It's time to go home looking for that repeat performance as the 8th race trotters head out to the track.